Greetings. I am Varnus Galarian, head of the Mages Guild. I have need of your assistance. Yes, it's high time Tamriel was free of Molongbal's grip. The Anchors, the Daedra, the Undead, they devastate our fragile mortal plane. I have a plan, and I need your help. I think you're the only one who can help me see this done. I want you to meet with Thrush, leader of the Hidden Armagers. He'll be at the Mages Guild in Mournhold. Even Yorin's personal agents think my idea is sound. I'll be along shortly. I just have a few final preparations to make. Well, well, if it isn't the hero of the pact, glad you made it. I'm the leader of the Hidden Armagers. If you've heard of us, we haven't been doing our jobs. The Armagers do the pact's dirty work. Sometimes that involves agents from the Morag Tong and other secret organizations, like Nariu here. She owes me a favor. It's a long series of stories we don't have time for. She saved my brother. I saved her life. We're back and forth. That's it for story time. You're here about Varnus Galarian? That crazy Altman wants to organize a secret meeting of the Alliance leaders in neutral territory. He'll be here any minute, so I'll let him give you the details. But don't worry. The Armagers will do our part. Little details. Making sure the right agents are in the right places. Protecting packed interests. That sort of thing. I could tell you more, but then Naryu would want to kill you. Or maybe just cut on you a little. Turns out I'm glad you came, Virian. I'm calling in that favor. You mean you called me here without knowing if you needed me, Thrush? Ugh. What's the favor? I need you to contact the other spy networks. The eyes of the Queen of the Old Merry Dominion and the Ring of Daggers in the Daggerfall Covenant. Contact. You do me with the tips of my daggers. Repeatedly. Right? No, no. This is a diplomacy thing. No killing. Apologies for my lateness. Waste of a favor, Thrush. Should have asked for something your lackeys couldn't do. We're even after this, you know. I know, but this is important. Thanks, Nariu. I'll even ride with you as far as Ordon. Let's go. Thank you for coming so quickly, champion. I've been consulting with Countess Hakruba of the Fighters Guild. Both of our guilds believe the time has come to take the fight to Cold Harbor. But this places us in a delicate political position. Trust, as always. The Alliance leaders will never agree to join forces. And if our guilds only work with one Alliance, the other two will see it as a betrayal. For both guilds, our neutrality is our strength. We can't afford to take sides. The war in Cyrodiil has been long and bloody, and all three alliances are spread thinly. They can't commit resources to an assault on Cold Harbor without making themselves vulnerable. I want to bring all three leaders together. Maybe cut a deal. You're in a unique position. You can speak with authority, but you're not an alliance leader. You're respected. You have a reputation. They may let you get a word in before they leap at each other's throats. In short, you're the perfect diplomat. I found the perfect meeting place. A neutral location far from disputed territories. An island called Sturk. 
I can get you an audience with each leader and provide magical transportation. You just need to convince them to travel to Sturk. That's all I ask. I'll open the portal. I think it's best that I travel with you and make introductions as a neutral party. That might make things easier. Greatly esteemed Queen Irene Arana Aldmeri, it is my great honor to present to you... Vanus, you're so formal. I remember the patience and kindness you showed an awkward, freckled waif all those years ago on Fair Somerset. You captured this child's heart then, and it remains with you to this day. You warm an old man's heart, my queen. I remember well those halcyon days. As do I, my old friend. Sorry about all these guards. I'm told they're necessary. These are dark days. A wise precaution, my queen. My counsel would be no different. If you'll permit it, my companion would like to speak with you. Ah, yes. Let me meet this hero I've heard so much about. It's not often the heroic deeds of one who by all rights should be considered a mortal enemy reach my ears. Come, let's talk. Vanus is a dear man. In many ways, he is family to me. Since he has given you his trust, I'm willing to set aside our differences. But under different circumstances, you and I would be sworn enemies. Well spoken and point taken. To be perfectly honest, I couldn't pass up the opportunity to meet you. Your exploits are legendary. A true champion is like a stone cast upon the waters of history. The ripples it creates travel far and wide. Humility is a noble thing. But you must also remain strong and self-assured. A true champion is also history's pawn, and history is a cruel and unfeeling master. But enough philosophy. What did you wish to speak with me about? And you need all three of the Alliance leaders to attend this meeting. A bold suggestion. I like it. Very well. I make no promises with regards to the negotiations themselves, but I will attend. That much, I promise. That went well, I think. Shall we move on? To Wayrest. Expect a certain level of formality. The court of High King Emmerich is often filled with scandalmongers and subversives. Therefore, protocol is the order of the day. Shall we? Tell the lovely Donmer Naryu that she is very welcome to disguise herself as a serving girl and show off for this Raz, one. inappropriate. This one has no regrets. Esteemed High King Emmerich, I thank you for agreeing to this meeting. I would not presume to waste your time without good reason. We've known each other for some time, Master Galerion. You aren't known for your capricious whims. Tell me, though, who is your companion? Your Majesty, this is Scald King Yorin's personal representative, here to speak with you about the impending Cold Harbor Crisis. The Scald King sends his personal champion into his enemy's stronghold? Either he has a lot of faith in you, or he's trying to get you killed. Hmm. I'm intrigued. Come, let us speak. Debella's legs, but you are a bold one. Even the bards of Wayrest sing of your exploits. I must confess, I had hoped to meet you one day. We sharpen our blades on the same whetstone, if you take my meaning. Tell me then, 
Is it madness that drives you to barge in here like this? Or perhaps you're here to surrender on behalf of your people. If that's the case, I accept. That's a bit of a dreary subject, but I prefer that over some angry line like, I've come here to kill you, Your Majesty. I'm glad you didn't say that. So you want to talk about everyone's favorite Daedric prince then? What of him? Ha! I'm sorry. I think I must have misheard you. For a moment, I thought you were saying you wanted to battle a Daedric prince. That would be especially funny if you wanted my help. So, what was it you really meant to say? <laughs> that would be utter madness. But I do like the thought of seeing that next to my name in the history books. All right. If Iren and Yoren agree to attend, I'll be there. If this is an assassination attempt, though, I'm taking you with me. Give my best to Thrush. Tell him I hope we can dance again soon. So you've been. I didn't you think it possible. Me, well done. We must return and begin the preparations. We oh, have I much to do. Mingle, Come. Majesty. I'm going to mingle their heads right off their necks one of these days. All three leaders have agreed to join us on Sturk. Now comes the tricky part. Individually, the leaders are rational, even reasonable. But get them together and... Well, you'll see soon enough. Everything's been prepared. Are you ready to travel to the summit? Please, the Alliance...